Hey, what's up, people? Piz out here. And before I get started, I just want to thank everybody out there for all the well wishes that was sent to me this week while I've been sick. I really appreciate it. I feel like I'm starting to come out of it. I'm sounding a little bit more like myself, although I may still sound a little bit congested in this video. And if so, I apologize. But again, thanks. I really appreciate the well wishes that you guys sent to me this past week while I've been under the weather. Today I want to talk to you guys about Lionsgate's newest Blu-ray release under their Vestron Video Collectors Series label. This is the double pack of Waxwork and Waxwork 2 Lost in Time. Now, I've been a huge fan of Waxwork for years. It was one of those movies that was constantly on cable television when I was growing up. I've seen it countless, countless, countless times. Just such a fun, ambitious movie and a really great idea for a horror movie to have this wax work where all the attractions basically come to life and they throw in you know you've got dracula the wolfman you've got like night of the living dead zombies you've got the mummy you've got all these great monsters thrown in the movie as well the movie also has this really nice sort of tongue-in-cheek approach <laughs> about itself which is fantastic as well I love Waxwork. That's why I really jumped at picking up this release was for Waxwork and because there's a lot of special features on here. I was not a big fan of Waxwork 2 growing up. As a matter of fact, up into probably the last couple of years, I'd only seen it once, maybe twice at the most. But I decided I was going to pop it in and give it another watch a couple of years ago just on a whim. And... It's a really fun, ambitious movie as well. It definitely takes the, the humor uh, over the top. It's really more of a comedy than a horror movie, Waxwork 2. But I like it. It's, it. it's an interesting movie. It's even more ambitious than Waxwork. And it's funny because on the special features, Anthony Hickox, the writer-director of both Waxwork movies, says Waxwork 2 was basically... Uh, double the ambition at half the budget of the original waxwork. Um, the picture quality and the sound quality on the original waxwork is really good, I thought. On waxwork 2, and I know my buddy Rambo Raff pointed this out, and I have to agree with him, watching waxwork 2 on this Blu-ray, it looked really faded out. The colors looked really faded. The colors didn't pop. There was no sort of sharpness to the image. And that's kind of disappointing. It's 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 not it's kind of a minor quibble, kind of not depending on how much of a fan you are of Waxwork 2, but um it was definitely noticeable while I was watching the film. However, the picture quality and the sound quality on Waxwork I thought was pretty darn good. Now we've got this nice slipcase here very shiny very shiny and what i like about this release they did this release right in that they gave both movies their own discs thank you so much for that a lot of these releases would have put both movies on the same disc so i definitely appreciate that lionsgate aka or i should say Lionsgate slash Vestron video gave both of these movies their own respective discs. Let's talk about the extras on this release and there are plenty to discuss here. We have got a one hour and 22 minute multi-part making of entitled The Waxwork Chronicles, which features interviews with Anthony Hickox, producer Stefan Ehrenberg, editor Chris Sabelli, makeup effects artist Bob Keen, Zach Galligan, Monica Schneer, art director John Chichester, assistant director Paul Martin, production designer Steve Hardy, Bruce Campbell, Dana Ashbrook, J. Kenneth Campbell, on and on and on. Loads of people associated with both Waxwork and Waxwork 2 are interviewed on this blu-ray and the interviews this making of is absolutely exhaustive so i did not go into super detail on all of the different chapters on this multi-part making of um, because it would be pages upon pages upon pages 
upon pages. But basically, they discuss anything and everything that you could possibly want to know about the making, release, uh, and cult status of the original waxwork, as well as the super fast production, the making of, and the release of waxwork to lost in time, exhaustive, detailed, one hour and 22 minutes. If you are a fan of the waxwork movies, this is what you want out of this kind of release. Let me tell you. This was a really, really good making up documentary for the Waxwork movies. We also have a 24-minute vintage making of documentary hosted by Patrick McNee. It features on-set interviews with David Warner, Anthony Hickox, Deborah Foreman, uh, Stefan Ehrenberg, Zach Galligan, Dana Ashbrook, and Bob Keen with lots of behind-the-scenes footage and behind-the-scenes shenanigans. Pretty interesting. We've got an audio commentary with Anthony Hickox and Zach Galligan, an isolated score and interview with composer Roger Bellin. Uh, we've got theatrical trailer and a still gallery. And on the Waxwork 2 disc, we've got an audio commentary with Anthony Hickox and Zach Galligan. I watched about half of the original uh, Waxwork uh, with that um, uh, with that commentary with Anthony Hickox and Zach Galligan. They're old friends. Clearly, you can tell they're old friends. Um, again, a lot of nice information about the making of the movie and what went on behind the scenes and just... Sounded like a lot of fun being on that set. I have not listened to the commentary over Waxwork 2 yet, but I definitely will get around to doing that at some point. Now, I have to say, again, if you are a fan of Waxwork or Waxwork 2, this is the release that you want. I understand it's about 30 bucks, but this is... <laughs> This is the best you're ever going to get with Waxwork and Waxwork 2. The hour and 22 minute making of, there went my notes, is worth the price of this set alone. Anything and everything that you could possibly want to know about the making of Waxwork and Waxwork 2 is on this disc. And I got to give Vestron video credit. Like I said, they, they gave both uh, movies their own respective discs. Waxwork looks good. It sounds good. Waxwork 2 sounds good. It's a little faded looking as far as the image quality. It's not quite as sharp. The colors don't pop quite as much as they do in Waxwork. That's a minor to middle of the road quibble depending on how much of a fan you are of waxwork to overall it didn't bother me that much it it definitely didn't put a damper on this release i do recommend it if you are a fan of waxwork or waxwork 2 you should own this release hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please leave it a thumbs up if you're not following me on social media those links are in the description. They're also right around here. If you got this release, please let me know what you thought of it in the comment section below. Did you think that the uh, picture quality on Waxwork 2 looked a little faded? Was it just me? Let me know in the comments section below. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.